Hey friends, welcome back to All Things Considered. In this video, I'll be sharing my custom setup for the Logitech MX Anywhere mouse for both my Windows and Mac laptops, and explain why Logitech's MX line of mice continue to reign supreme as the productivity peripheral champions. Let's jump in. What I have here is the MX Anywhere 2S mouse from Logitech. It's a scaled down version of the popular MX Master mouse. There's a newer version of this mouse available that has a USB-C port instead of micro for charging, but I believe it doesn't have any other new features compared to this one. My favorite feature on this mouse is the freewheeling scroll wheel, which is great for scanning through really long web pages or your social media feeds, or if you have to scan through thousands of rows on a spreadsheet. It has two side buttons and one extra middle button referred to as the gesture button, and we'll get into all of that in a little bit, but these can all be set up to have a unique function in each of your applications with the help of the Logitech Options app. This companion app is what really makes this device a productivity powerhouse. So if you have any mouse from the Logitech MX line, you'll want to download and install the Logitech Options app to unlock all of these extra features, which we'll go through one by one. The application layout is the same for both Windows and Mac. On the first tab, you'll find your button settings where you can configure what your buttons can do. Depending on which device you have paired, the interface will show you which buttons you can configure and then on the upper right where it says All Applications, this is where you define which app these functions are assigned to. So what this means is that you can set up your buttons to work differently depending on which application you have your mouse pointer active on. So to illustrate under All Applications, I have the middle button or gesture button assigned to a specific keystroke combination. Shift Command 5 brings up the screen capture tool on Mac. I use this function a lot to capture my screen for demos just like this one you're watching right now. I have the same button assigned to a different function specifically for hit film. So if I select hit film right here, you can see that I have it assigned to shift command D instead. In hit film, this key combination triggers the slice function, which I use for cutting my videos. Now going back to the Logi Options app, I also have the same button again assigned to a different function for Audacity, which I use to edit my audio. In here, I have it set to command R instead, which in Audacity repeats the last effect applied. If you're trying to find out if there's a keystroke combination available for a particular function in your own applications, these are typically listed in the top menu bar next to the function itself. So for example, in Audacity, if I click on Edit, I can see the Undo function keystroke is Command Z, and for Redo, it is Shift Command Z. Now this middle button on this particular mouse is called the Gesture button. That's because you can actually have an additional layer of functionality by holding the button down and then dragging the mouse up, down, left, or right. So instead of having just one custom function, you can have four. To demonstrate, right now the middle button is set to the screen capture keystroke for all applications. But if I scroll all the way to the top here, I can select gesture button. That brings up the settings for the gestures, and you have a bunch of presets already here. At the very bottom of this list again is custom. Selecting this and then customize, we can now again assign a custom function or even a keystroke to each of these gesture directions. So in total, you can define up to six custom functions or keystrokes on this specific model of mouse. One for each of the side buttons and then four for the gesture directions. The next tab in Logitech Options shows the point and scroll settings, where you can set pointer and scrolling speed, toggle smooth scrolling, and scrolling direction. Lastly, this flow tab is something you'll be interested in if you work on multiple computers simultaneously. This is where you enable Logitech Flow, a feature that allows you to quickly switch your mouse connection back and forth between your computers, simply by moving from the edge of one screen to the next. This feature also lets you copy from one device and paste to another, and if you also have a compatible Logitech keyboard, enabling the link keyboard setting means that whichever computer your mouse is currently active on, your keyboard will follow along with it. So there you have it, my custom setup for the MX Anywhere 2S mouse. This device truly has improved my productivity and overall efficiency when working, and honestly, I don't think I can go back to using a regular mouse. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help you out. If you're interested in picking up a Logitech MX mouse, you can find links down in the description. Now this video was not sponsored by Logitech, but if you do use my links, it really helps support the channel, and I can continue to bring you more videos like this one. Thanks for watching until the end. Remember to work smarter, not harder. I'll see you all in the next one.